got the first one here. Right here in front, Alan. All right. Alan from the Allen Edwards Sports Radio Show. It was a pleasure. Just talk about, you know, their team and what they were able to do offensively that kind of was able to move the ball effectively in this game. To be honest with you, they didn't do anything. They were minus six rushing yards in the first half. Mm -hmm. A lot of self mistakes, to be mm -hmm. honest. Got them third down at the end of the um, half, and you know, we ended up having a penalty. You know, um, we had some other things happen to punt block. I'm just going to be honest with you, man. They weren't, they weren't nothing that we didn't expect them to be. Um, you got to really take a look in the mirror, look at ourselves at this one. You know, it's going to hurt because we know it was self inflicted. To, to, to that, you know, the coach talked about, he already talked about the team knowing what to expect and kind of keeping the penalties at bay. What do you think is happening that's causing guys to kind of lose their head on the field? And, you know, you never know. Um, it's, it's, you know, for me, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's tough because of the fact that I know, I know what these guys bring to it. Nobody wants to make a mistake. We all really do real deal love each other, you know what I mean? They ain't never... Uh, uh, the time where I think a guy's just doing it just to, you know, get something off of him. You know, he's feeling a certain type of way, you know, that just comes with the game. But, you know, we a new team, this, this is all new. No train, no, uh, no OTAs, no, um, you know, training camp was so short, you know, we're still building and learning. What it's gonna take is for us to realize, you know, we still got eight more opportunities to go out there and make it happen. And uh, it didn't happen today, but I ain't never gonna uh, not believe in my team that it's gonna happen next year. Mike? Mike Bianchi, Orlando Sentinel. Obviously, you guys are, are great competitors. I'm curious, what's it like riding the same plane back home or to a game with the team you're playing? I mean, they're probably going to be celebrating. You guys are not happy. What, what's that like? It's hard to say. We haven't done it yet. You're coming here with them, everybody was still in their sleeper, relaxing, getting ready, looking at the iPads, ready to play. So, I mean, we haven't been in this situation before, so it's hard to say. Obviously, what's going to happen? We gotta be professional, like Cody's saying. Like, you know, this is part of what the league's giving us, you know what I mean? So we're gonna be professional. You know, um, we better be professional. It's an opportunity a lot of us are waiting for. So, so. Down here in front, Steve. Uh, Steve Wilson, Florida Broadcasting Group. Uh, tough game this afternoon. Can you take anything positive out of the game today moving forward? Anything you can look at and say, you know, we did okay in this. We always finish it, you know, we always got to fight for this team. We don't give up. I mean, we say we got to self-reflect, go back and look at, you know, I left some plays out there, and a lot of people left some plays out there, and uh, got to clean up every day. Uh, losing stuff, everybody hates it, but, you know, like I said, these guys are some good leaders on this team, including this guy right here, man, that's going to keep us going, keep the team going, keep everybody at bay, and uh, like I said, come back and attack next week. In the back, Josh. Guys, how special was it to have a home game here with your parents? Yeah, man, it's special. Um, I'm a Florida kid. I grew up in Jacksonville, born in West Palm Beach. You know, Orlando's in the middle between all of that. So I went here from college. And all my family was here today, too. And that really meant a lot to me. Um, three years ago, that was my last time playing football. And, uh, you know, for some reason, people forgot about me. So it felt good to bring it back home in Orlando. You said that. It felt really good to be out here. Uh, made me want to move here. I enjoyed the vibe of the fans. And it's amazing. Buddy, so can't wait to come back here and put most of our home games. In the back, Zach. Cody, it's the second straight game. You guys have had multiple quarterbacks in there. How hard is it to be on the same page when it's just a little bit more behind the set? I don't think it's hard. Uh, we've been working with these guys for the last what, six, seven weeks. Uh, we've been practicing with the reps of all, all the quarterbacks we've been playing here. So uh, I don't think it changes too much. Uh, we just got to go out there and execute it. Uh, we got to play better. Right? Make plays for the community. Uh, we just got to plays out there. And, uh, I got time for two more right here, Jeff. Oh, hey, Jeff Barnes, NBS Media. Um, you guys are 0-2. It's only a 10-game season, unlike the NFL where they have 16 to turn it around. How do you guys plan to turn it around this week because you're running out of runway? We still got a game to go. I think we're running out of runway. I wouldn't say that. Uh, it's a long season ahead still. I mean, we just got, like I said, we're looking at the field, looking at the mirror, self reflecting. We messed up on all these things. Just keep playing. Like I said, this team has fight. Believe in all these guys. Believe in our coaches. So, they just get turned around. It's, it's, a, it's a small detail, man. We just got to clean up these small details. Little things that kill us in these games. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think Houston or San Antonio is better than us. 
based off what we face, we beating ourselves. When we start beating ourselves, then people are going to start getting beat. Last one, anybody? Kyle? Uh, Kyle Nash with three-point conversion and T. Plum also writing for the black and gold brand of red. Not all of us forgot about you, brother. But with that in mind, Major love, man. Major love. <laughs> but with that in mind, um, Matt Lee got in the backfield a lot to make some plays defensively. Um, what could you say about what worked for him and the defense uh, during the day today? Yeah, Mike Lee a baller, man. Um, TC caught down it up. We were prepared. I really, that's why I'm just like a little, just however I am up here. But because we were prepared, we, we went out there and did our thing out there in the first half. You know, we got to finish and everything that comes through. But Mike Lee's a great ball player. Um, he comes to work every day. And, um, you know, we all come to work every day. So it's going to start bleeding off and then more and more people. We got some young guys on this team. We got guys like Cody who's been around, been a big pro, you know what I mean? Done it at the highest level. So we just got to start leaning on those vets. And those young guys got to just come along. We just got to bleed. We got to help the defense. Thank you very much. Thank you, you guys, man. Appreciate, appreciate you guys. Everybody appreciate needs you. stats. We should have some in the press box. I think we had an issue getting them down here in time. But